Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great. So I'm off up north on a little hunting adventure near Lerg, but uh, it's a bit of a travel we've got to do yet, and it's snowing, the weather's a bit iffy, it's really cold, but I'm here with my buddy Steve. Say hello Steve. Hello everyone. <laughs> Photogenic as always. Anyways, we'll take you up there and see what we can do. So stay with me folks, we've got a cracking trip to do. Well, it's freezing cold up to the highlands. Well in the minus. It's about a foot of snow on the ground. But there's deer out. Seen a couple already. That one's just over the boundary. It's the 150 meters might get wandering in through the gate. But uh, we shall wait and see. Lucky deer. Well, where were you all October, you big bugger? Yeah. No words for you if you come over the boundary. Well, there's another couple of seeker way in the distance. Actually, three. That's pretty cool. I've seen another one on the woodland on our side, but it's in the trees and not coming out. Might break out soon. But blue and neck, it's cold. These deer are brave. That'd be in my bed. Come on, big guy. Come to daddy. Less than 100 meters to the corner of that post. If it crosses over on this side, we got something big to play with. So you might just see the other seeker coming out of the trees there. There's two of them. And then just to the right, there's the little one that we saw at the start. And over to the left, where is he? We've got the big boy. There he is. He's not far away at all. Just needs to come a little bit closer to me. The corner of the deer fence is right there. And that's my boundary, the broken fence. Steps across that, oh dear. Oh, it's turning into a party. Look at this. Look at the deers. There's more of them. Hello. Stack for a highland seeker. Ooh, <laughs> surrounded by deer, all on the wrong side of the fence. They're only 150 meters and they're on my side. Come on, it's freezing. Bloody hell. Oh, flip. Decent stacks. The one on the left's going to be a cracker next year, and the one on the right's a belter right now. I'm not sure they're going to come my way though. Lucky deers. Well, it's been a good morning, that's pretty cool, but uh, they're so close, you just need to walk down the fence line and then come through that little gap anywhere across that fence and that's it, it's all over. But, it's great seeing them, quite pleased about that. Right, so it's not often I might frown a little bit, but you can sort of see the box there-ish. 
right? And this afternoon I went for a wander somewhere else to go up a high seat. So uh, Steve-O, right, was in the box doing a bit out of season work, shot the big 80 pointer. And you might be thinking, oh no, what a shame, but actually he's got to go. And then just for good measure, he shot one of the calves that were in that group. So I didn't get them. Somebody else did. That's sad. I have to go shoot something else. Yes. Oh. The indignity of it. Having to growl at someone else's deer. You know what? <laughs> oh, it's a good size. Oh. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Oops. Oh, nice one, Steve. What is this snow stuff anyway? Ah, oh, not a bad result. We've got some. Uh, he's quick to go out, and he's a fatty one. This little guy. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of chunk to him, huh? Over the river and back to the road, you think? Oh. Where's the car? It's back where we left it. I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm going to have to wander all this back. We'll get them over the river. Do you want to chuck them in the river? No. But we'll get them over the river, and then I'll go get the car, come back. And then we'll get them both to the other side. Oh. That is a result. That's not right. See if you can see, my man. Dropped them both in the spot. Yeah. Decent. Good and fatty, this one. Stay to that. Mm. Nice. Gather be gutted. <laughs> I hope he got it. Right. Good job, well done. Let's get them off before it's uh, dark. Well, so it's day two. Freezing cold. There's been a few inches of snow, but it's beautiful. There's definitely deer knocking about, I've seen quite a few. And if we look out in the open ground, uh, the deer that uh, usually feed out there, they've come out as usual. There's some hinds and some stags. They're uh, not too bad to see. Let's have a look, see if we can focus this in. So we've got some hinds just there. And then there's some stags hiding just under the, the brush and the trees just over here. And there was more up the valley and a rodeo out right at the very end just up on the inside of there, but I'd have to cross the river to go and get her, and I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. So it's all good fun. Ah, oh, you've got to enjoy it. But, not nearly as lucky as Steve. Bugger, oh well, that's hunting deer for you. But dragging out in this snow, oh, that was a bit track, you know, a bit challenging, a bit draggy, but uh, we got there in the end. Anyways, back to hunting.
Oh, come on, son. Come on. Oh, and he's down. He's down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think I've just shit myself. Oh man, I can't believe it. I've actually shot something from this box. So this box has been up for a few years now, right? And I put it up really for guests. But there's no better place I'd love to come and sit. And uh, there's sea cut everywhere. There's loads up the valley. There's quite a few in the woodland right now. And that boy just came out just right in front of me. And uh, I was fanning about with the camera. I don't have a tripod, so I was like making a little pile of snow to try and get the camera set up. And uh, we've got him on camera, so he's a nice looking boy. He's dead just beside the river. So I've not got my wellies on. I can go and get them from the car, but uh, I don't fancy walking all the way around the river to walk up it to then go and get this deer. So I'll get in touch with Steve and then uh, we'll go and see what we can do with this. Oh, I'll get in. Feeling good about that. It's not the biggest stag I've ever seen, but. Oh, I'm made up with that. Good stuff. And this whole deer control thing out in the woodland, at this time of year when the deer come in, because they tend to drop into this lower, better ground, they do a lot of damage, so we've got out of season uh, authority to do deer control. And uh, we tend to only try and take the stags, because there's an excess of them, and uh, leave the hinds if we can. But, oh, I'm happy with that. Get in. <laughs> Good stuff. Go and have a look. Oh well folks, that's a trip over. So on that last day, the third day, a weather front came in and dumped about a foot of snow so we couldn't really get out, the roads were closed, so we thought right, we better just get down the road. And it's the end of the day, it took us about seven hours to get home, but we've had an eventful trip, we've both got nice little heads. I think, think I didn't quite win, but what can you do? But anyways, thanks for joining us folks and I hope to see you again. See you all.